Hello there gear fans, my name is Dan, and uh, in this video we're going to be listening to the kick drum recorded with the Beta 52 microphone from Shure. Uh, it's a pretty good kick drum mic. Um, it's not as pronounced as the mic we used in our last video, which was the ND868 <clears throat> from Electro Voice. But um, I think it fits more with some with like mellower music. Like, for example, it's a pretty good jazz kick drum mic or or folk. And this song is kind of folky, so I'm guessing I might be pretty happy with this Beta 52 as long as it can cut through the mix. I do have quite a few instruments uh, going on uh, in this mix. So let's listen to our sound soloed. Okay. So it's got a lot of low end in it. Much, I believe the low end is more pronounced than uh, with the ND868. It does have a good of like high thwack or slap kind of sounds a bit like a wetter sound like a splash I think I could more describe the uh, the um, attack sound and there's less bleed as well um, and uh, so let's listen to what this sounds like in our mix it is quieter than our uh, ND868 But it's there. We have to give it a little more oomph to uh, kind of push it through the other instruments. But I do think it fits with the music style. So what I'm going to do is, um, let's see, let's zero out, or not zero out, but match up the two um, microphones in uh, volume. Uh, as you can see, all, all, everything's exactly the same. Uh, I have a pan, both of them pan slightly left uh, and uh, to get away from the bass a little bit. Uh, trims at 7.8. So everything is pretty much exactly the same. Uh, now just as a note, I put these through the same exact preamp. And that's a Focusrite uh, ISA model. Um, and uh, it, it, they all come with the same rack. And um, luckily for us, uh, they have detented uh, gain switches. I just kept the, the there's fine gain gain knobs, a, a gain pot that's continuous, but I kept that at zero, and just used the detented uh, switch to make sure that the gain was uh, even all the way throughout. So let's listen to uh, our our kick drums um, soloed, and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to actually click on the mute switches. I'm going to use my Tascam uh, US2400 uh, um, control surface to switch between mute so that we can switch on the fly between them without uh, any problems. So let's uh, hear what uh, these two sound like soloed. Again, that's our uh, Beta 52. And keep your eye on the mute switches as soon as you hear them. Or as soon as you see him switch, you'll, you'll hear the, the other mic, the uh, Electro Voice. So as you can hear, uh, the ND868 actually has a little bit more bleed. But overall, it is a louder mic and a bit more has a bit more of a curve to it. Um, that being the case, I feel that this mic is much more suited, um, for punchier, uh, kick drum sounds. And a lot of people, uh, want that, prefer that, especially in dense mixes or heavy music. Um, but it also causes it to not be a very good mic for other things. Uh, for example, the Beatty 52, I'll often use on a bass cabinet. Uh, it's just my kind of go-to amp for that, uh, go-to mic for that. Uh, so now, hav having heard them uh, s uh, soloed out of the mix, let's listen to them uh, back in. And um, I'm going to have to raise the, the Beta 52's volume just a little bit to match the volume of the 868. <clears throat> so let's uh, start playing these again. And again, watch the mute switches. Uh, when this is muted, you're going to hear the uh, ND868. When you see this yellow light uh, go on, and this one go off, you're going to hear the beta 52. 
All right, let's listen to him again. I'm going to adjust the volume a little bit to get him to match a little more. Maybe even bring them out a little bit. It's the ND868. ND and I'm going to switch. And that last switch there was back to the ND868. So I'm kind of on the fence right now about which one I'm going to use for this mix, but uh, I hope uh, you got to hear a little bit of uh, what these two different mics are about and the different flavors they offer. So thanks for checking out the video.